Hi everyone, welcome back to At The Stove with Audrey Grove, episode 15. Today I was thinking about you and wondering what kind of things you would like to see me make or you want to then make yourself and I thought about really easy things. So I found this recipe for a pumpkin spice latte mug cake. So we're going to make it in a mug and it's really fast. So let's get cooking. So we're gonna start, what I love about this recipe, these are ingredients that you have in your house, guaranteed. So I'm, it calls for a baking mix. So I'm using a Bisquick baking mix, nothing fancy. This one happens to be gluten free, cause that's what I had. And I'm gonna do a third of a cup. So we'll just measure that out. Beautiful. Clip this back together so it stays fresh for the next time. And let's make sure we don't have anything in our bowl. And here we go. So this is a third of cup, third cup of all-purpose baking mix. Next, we're gonna add pumpkin spice. So I happen to have a container of pumpkin spice mix, but you could make your own with cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, super easy. So I need a half a teaspoon of this. And I'll tell you when you, when you smell pumpkin spice mix, it just to me reminds me of the fall and Thanksgiving and eating pumpkin bread and having pumpkin spice latte, lattes at the coffee shop, etc. Okay, so half a teaspoon going in. You could also find this pumpkin spice blend probably in every supermarket. I happen to have gotten this one at Trader Joe's. Okay, next, a tablespoon of brown sugar. And the last thing that they call for is instant espresso powder. So that one I did not have in my pantry, but I did have instant coffee. So what I did was I took the instant coffee and, and you can see that it's kind of big granules. So I took it and I kind of, I used a mortar and pestle to get it nice and powdery. So this is a half of a tablespoon. So we'll mix that up. So this is all of our dry ingredients. Okay, so just nice and easy. I'll tell you though, it smells really good between the coffee and the pumpkin pie spice. So let's put in some of our wet ingredients. So it calls for milk. Today I'm using oat milk because that's what I have, but you could use any kind of milk you want. Cow milk, plant-based milk, doesn't matter. So we need two tablespoons. So here we go. One and two. And then we need pumpkin. So you, what you want to remember is you don't want pumpkin pie feeling, filling. You want the pure pumpkin. So we're going to use two tablespoons. One and two. Pumpkin is so good for you. It's super high in fiber. Always good. Fiber is a good thing, right? We're going to add some oil. They call for vegetable oil, so that's what I'm adding. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. Okay. And vanilla, my favorite. Quarter of a teaspoon. So not a lot, but even a quarter of a teaspoon gives it some great flavor. Okay, so let's mix it up. And honestly, it is just like a regular cake batter. 
but we're making this for one, which I thought was great. So you can double this if you want to invite a friend over once uh, COVID is over. Um, but if you have someone that's living with you, you can double this and make it for two. So here it is, just this small amount of batter. It smells really good. So I'm gonna take a mug, a microwave safe mug, that's really important to know. And I'm gonna spray the insides, so the bottom and the sides. So there's the bottom, and let's get some on the sides. This is just so the mug, the cake doesn't stick to the mug. Oops, can't get that back on. All right, so we're, we're mixing it till it's just moistened. So that's it, we don't wanna over mix. So I'm gonna take this little mini bowl of batter and pour it into my mug. And I wanna get every last bit, the pumpkin and the pumpkin spice, which is a lot of cinnamon and the coffee. That smells really good. So there it is in my, in my mug, just simple, done. And I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two to two and a half minutes. So let's pop this in. I'm gonna put it in for two minutes and 20 seconds to make sure it's cooked. There it goes. And we'll be back when we're ready to pull it out. We're back. And my microwave just dinged, so let's pull out our little little cake for one. Mm, smells delicious. So it says to take a toothpick and insert it into the cake in the center to make sure it comes out clean. So we're good. So this is um, nice and warm. So I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit. And we're gonna go on to our next project in a moment which is our pumpkin spice, are you getting the theme here? Um, whipped coffee. I'm gonna go set it up, we'll be right back. So, okay, we're ready to put everything together. I have my pumpkin spice latte mug cake just cooling off to the side a little bit because we're gonna put a little, little topping of whipped cream and we don't want it to just melt right away. So while we're letting that cool, we're gonna make a beverage and it is the pumpkin spice whipped coffee. So probably about three months ago, um, we did a cooking video on how to make whipped coffee. So this one is very similar, except we're adding the pumpkin spice blend to it. Okay, so we're gonna start out with just regular instant coffee. And we're taking two tablespoons. So that's two. Then we're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar. So we got that right here. And I'm just going to wash this off really quick because I don't want any coffee grinds in my sugar. Okay, two tablespoons of sugar. Good. And then two tablespoons of hot water, but before that, so if you don't like the pumpkin spice flavor, you can stop right here. You're not gonna add this and then continue. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of pumpkin spice to our coffee, like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe half. Okay, and then we need two tablespoons of hot water. So I happen to have this instant hot water spigot right here. So I'm gonna add that in. And I am going to take my electric hand mixer and I'm gonna beat this up. Right now it looks kinda soupy, but I'm gonna beat it up until it's whipped and fluffy. So, uh, cameraman, I'm wondering if you could take the sound off while I do this? No, you can't? All right, so here we go. I apologize for the noise. I'm gonna hold my hand over it because while it's still so liquidy, it can splatter a little bit. 
and so you don't have to sit here and watch me for a good minute or two. We'll be back when it's all whipped up. Okay, so we are back and we're gonna pull our snack all together. So I have a glass with some ice in it and I'm gonna pour in again some milk and it could be any kind of milk that you want. This one happens to be oat milk because that's what I have today. Um, I took, while we were on our little break, I took my hand mixer and I put it on super high so that you can see that it's got nice little lift. Can you see that in the camera? Okay, so let's um, let's make some iced coffee. Even though it's cold out today, I still love a good whipped coffee and this one is pumpkin spice. To me, that's even better. So I'm gonna take it and pour it right on top. Mm, mm, mm. I'll clean the glass in a minute. Don't even worry about it while we're putting it together. I wanna give it a nice layer of the whipped pumpkin spice coffee. Just smells like a holiday in my house right now. Okay, so let's uh, take our little dish rag and clean this off a little. We've got a nice long spoon gonna put that right there and then I'm gonna take my beautiful little mug cake why not take a little whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon like it's snowing cinnamon and if you can get inside that Okay, so I'm gonna try the whipped coffee. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Oh boy, does this look good. Yum. That is so good. I highly recommend you trying this. All right, so that's that. And let's take a little bit of our pumpkin spice latte cake for one. Mm. So the cake is still warm, which is great. So the whipped cream doesn't melt if it was too hot. And you could really taste all the, the flavors in that pumpkin pie spice, the cinnamon, nutmeg, the brown sugar, um, oh, it's so good. Mm. Delicious. Well, I think that's all for today. I hope you guys are doing well. I think about you all the time. If you have any recipes that you'd like to see me make, please email them to me at agrove at masonicare.org. I'm really grateful that you tuned in today to watch this episode of At The Stove with Audrey Grove, and I send my love to you. Food is love that you can taste. Bye.